What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and today's video we're going to be talking about my two favorite things, MailChimp and JotForm. We're doing so to answer a question that was posted in the comments a couple of weeks ago and it's all coming up next. Stay tuned. So Avery Smith a couple of weeks ago posted a question on a video I did a few months ago talking about MailChimp JotForm integration and adding a tag to a form on, on JotForm. Then that tag would be associated with that person as they are integrated with MailChimp and gets uploaded to an audience list. Well, Avery's question was, do you have a video showing how to have the form submitter tag tags generate from option list, checkbox list? And the answer is, I don't, but now there is going to be a video and we're going to be answering that question in this video. And the way to do it in job form is with, di with dynamic tagging. So let's get started. I'm logged into my job form dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're just going to clone an existing form. So we'll just go over here to more, click on clone. And it'll show us the form that is so we're ready to go here. Now, if you're not familiar with JotForm Form Builder, I did a video a couple of years ago now. I'll leave a link up there in the video so that you can go and click on uh, to learn more about it. But generally, the layout is on the left-hand side are form elements. On the right-hand side is the form designer. Okay, so we're just going to click on the Add Form Elements section, and we're going to scroll down and click on Multiple Choice, and we're going to drag that across to our form. Close out form elements. We're done for those for now. Now there's two ways to edit the field. You can type right inside the form itself, or I'd like to go over to the properties tab and then we'll edit our field here. So our question is, what is your favorite color? You can see here, I've been doing it before. And uh, we'll go into our options and we'll just delete these and add in our colors, hitting uh, enter after each entry. blue, yellow, oops, spell yellow correctly. And let's do one more orange. Okay, so let's go over here and make it required so that they don't skip it because it's important. And we're all done with the form, the basic form layout. Okay, the next tab we're gonna go into is settings. And a few things that you have to know here before we get into the dynamic, or a few things you should check out anyway, and that is the thank you page. Uh, you can have a generic thank you page that's supplied by JotForm, and you can have different layouts here, uh, some buttons and fields that you can pick from on the right-hand side, or you can redirect it to an external link such as on your website, okay? The next thing you wanna take a look at is your email setup. Make sure that you have an email going to your email address. And if you'd like, you can also set up an autoresponder so it gets to the person filling out the form so they have a copy of what they submitted. Okay, next we go into the integrations and this is where the magic happens. So for every form you create that you wanna integrate with uh, MailChimp, you have to do that on each and every form. There is no generic, hey, let's integrate all of my JOT form with MailChimp. You have to do it on a, on a form by form basis. So keep that in mind. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna in integrate with MailChimp. Click on MailChimp. Now there's a few steps involved here. I won't show it on the screen because it involves passwords and such. But what you're gonna do is click on authenticate. You'll get a pop-up that says enter your email and password or your username and password for MailChimp. And then you have to go through an authentication process and maybe even your uh, verification code. And so I'm just gonna skip that part and we'll pick it up after all that. All right, we've signed in and did all of the secure stuff. And the next step is to choose your list. If you have more than one list, I only have one list, so we'll select that. And then we're gonna get into the magic here. So interest groups, if you want to have whoever fills out this form be connected to a group, you can also do that here. I'm not gonna do that in this video, uh, but the, what we are concerned about is the tags. We don't want static tagging, we want dynamic tagging. So a little bit about static tagging. So you can select any and all of these tags and will be applied to the person filling out this form. That data will get uploaded to MailChimp. So that's static tagging. And then we have dynamic tagging, which is what we want. So dynamic tagging 
is tags that are generated on the fly, which is exactly what Avery wants, and that's what we're gonna set up. So we're gonna select our field. What is your favorite color? So for every option a person chooses, that's gonna generate, auto-generate a tag that will be associated with that person in your audience list, okay? So that's as simple as it gets right there. That's nothing else you need to do there. You do wanna add in other options, other fields if you'd like. I'm only adding an email address. You could add in first name too. Other options that you can do, update existing contact. That's important if a person is already on your email list and they are filling out this form. That way the data will get uploaded with that and associate with that existing person. Otherwise it won't and you won't capture the necessary dynamic tagging, okay? So that's important. And you also have an option to send an opt-in email if you so choose so that you can verify that the person's email address is actually real. But for us, we're just gonna click on complete integration and click on finish. And the final step here is to actually publish our form. All we have to do is click on publish. So let's test it all out. We're gonna open up in a new incognito window and we're gonna fill it all out. Okay, we have a uh, we have full name, we have email address. We're gonna pick red, blue, orange. And our message is this is a test. I'm gonna click on submit. We'll see our generic thank you. And now let's go check out what happened on MailChimp. So I'm over on audience dashboard inside my MailChimp test account. We'll click on 21 of them, our subscribers. And we'll click on my email address here. And here are the tags, blue, orange, and red. Simple as that. That's how you add dynamic tagging to MailChimp through JotForm. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out as much as I can. If you're new here and you like this type of content, make sure you click subscribe. And if you really enjoy the video, make sure you click that like button. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.